Figure shows water falling over a dam. A. The vertical height that the water falls is 18 meters. Calculate the potential energy lost by 1 kilograms of water during the fall. Now let's see what are the givens. You have 18 meters, which is the height. You are also given the mass, which is 1 kilograms. Remember this because this will be used in the next question. And he's asking for the potential energy. Potential energy equals mgh. M is the mass. G is the constant and the acceleration due to gravity. H is the height. So, M is 1. G is 10. H the height is 18 meters. So the potential energy lost by 1 kilograms when falling from a height of 18 meters. This will be 180 joules. One mark for the method and the equation. And one mark for the final answer. So potential energy at the top is 180 joules. Question B. Assuming all this potential energy loss is changed to kinetic energy of the water. Calculate the speed of the water in the vertical direction at the end of the fall. Okay, if we assume that this is free fall, which means that no air resistance or friction, for free fall, the potential energy at the top for any falling object equals its kinetic energy down just before it hits the ground, or in our case, hitting the surface of the water. This means that the kinetic energy down will be also 180 joules. So, for free fall, potential energy up equals kinetic energy down equals 180 joules. The rule that is used to calculate the kinetic energy is kinetic energy equals half mv square where v is the speed at the bottom this means that 180 equals half times 1 times v square 1 is the mass from the previous question a now we want to calculate v rearranging this equation you will see that v square equals 360 by taking the root of both sides you will see that the speed equals 19 meters per second. Question C. The vertical speed of the water is less than that calculated in B. Suggest one reason for this. When we answer question B, we assume that this is free fall, and this means that no air resistance and no friction, or you can say that potential energy up equals kinetic energy down but actually there will be air resistance and there will be friction that's why our answer is not accurate so simply we say that air resistance acts against the falling water so some potential energy changes to heat and sound